Hi, welcome to the third video relating to the stack and tilt swing pattern. Hopefully with the weather now improving you've had a chance to venture out onto the golf course or get to the range to try and introduce some of the changes we suggested in our first two videos. I think one of the biggest misconceptions certainly that I, I had initially when I looked into this was that the stack and tilt swing pattern with the weight forward onto the lead footed address, the handle forward and the weight moving progressively forward in the downswing would produce low flighted shots that tended to leak off to the right. Uh, that's certainly not the case if you understand the correct sequence of moves in the downswing. So what we're going to do today in this video is take the opportunity to look at some key aspects of the stack and tilt swing pattern downswing and how you can introduce them into your game. In any goal shot the key move that initiates the downswing is vital as the downswing happening so quick is largely a chain reaction so if we get that first move right it's going to make it much easier to progress through the downswing properly now in the stack and tilt swing pattern the first move that we're looking to make from a stacked or centered position at the top of the backswing is to move the hips forward so the first move is to move the hips forward and if that happens correctly the left knee should return over the left ankle as the downswing starts. Now it's not a case of just throwing the hips at the golf ball because what that tends to do is leads to the centre of the swing dropping to the right too much or dropping back behind the golf ball too much and as a result we run the risk of hitting the ground behind the ball. So what we're looking to do is from the top of the backswing where the weight is favouring the left side we're going to just move the weight into the left side and as we do that we would want the arms to lower at the same sort of rate. Now a good checkpoint for you now is that at this point in the downswing we would have the left knee over the left ankle. You can see there that the lower centre, the belt buckle, has moved forward and yet the upper centre, the sternum, has stayed pretty much in the same position. That's going to allow us to stay centred on the ball, but at the same time, is going to allow us to keep the arms on the circle that they were on during the backswing. One of the big problems with the traditional golf swing is that, as we've all read in magazines, when we get to the top of the backswing, we should clear the hips. And as we clear the hips, the centre of the swing moves back. So now we're very, very inclined to hit the ground behind the golf ball or scoop the ball through impact. And then the other problem occurs is when the player clears the hips, you can see the arms now are brought out in front of that player and he's going to glance across the ball to the left. So the first move of the stack and tilt golf swing downswing is from the top, move the hips forward and allow the arms to lower at the same rate at which the hips are moving forward. So now we're in a position where we've moved the lower body forward, we've moved the hips in a linear fashion towards the target. What we do next in the golf swing and the downswing is we continue to move the hips further forward. You can see there the left knee or the lead knee getting out in front of the lead ankle so we've got much more lateral movement towards the target with the lower body than we would have in a traditional golf swing. What we've also got in this position is the handle of the golf club leading the club head. You can see that the shaft of the club leans towards the target. These two moves, the hips moving progressively forward and the handle of the club leading the club head allow us to hit out at the golf ball as we come through this way which is essentially we're going to get that golf ball to draw one of the common problems amongst club golfers is that they come into impact there's a tendency to want to help the ball up in the air and whenever we do that we can see that the hips cease to move forward and now as the club passes the hands we're going to run the risk 
of topping the golf ball, but in particular slicing it because as the club passes the hands, the club is working left too quickly through the hitting area. So what we're looking to do is once we've achieved this first move correctly, we're going to continue to move the hips forward to impact. Impact, we should see the lower centre well out in front of the golf ball, the left knee a couple of inches in front of the left ankle and the handle of the golf club leading the club head. So from this solid impact position, what's going to happen next as the club comes through impact, the lead leg is going to begin to straighten, raising the belt up slightly. The arms continue to extend so that at around about chest or waist height here in the through swing, both arms are fully extended. This is essential for speed and also ensures that the player continues to hit out rather than cutting across the golf ball. So again, we're going to just get that left leg or lead leg straightening. You can see the belt buckle raising, both arms extending before the wrist then to start unhinging. And we can see in the follow through that the backside is tucked beneath the player rather than what we see with a lot of club golfers where the hips creep back and the torso creeps forward. So there you have some key moves in the stack and tilt downswing. When we're looking at this move, particularly the move through the hitting area, as the left leg or lead leg straightens and the hips continue to move forward, you can see there that the spine is clearly tilted back. This is why you've done correctly. The correct downswing sequence of the stack and tilt swing pattern will not produce low shots. If anything, this will get you hitting the ball higher and much more right to left. So there you have an insight into the stack and tilt downswing. Um, during the next blog, we're going to look how you can apply the stack and tilt swing pattern to hitting your driver. Uh, and also then progress into some drills and exercises that can help develop the pattern further. If you need to speak to us between now and then, feel free to contact us by telephone or visit the website on www.hotwoodgolf.co.uk.